for it to take off. Good acceleration. Set to prove out the Boeing T-7A in inverted flight, Boeing test and evaluation pilots Matt Giese and William Berryman are the first to take the advanced trainer developed for the U.S. Air Force through a rugged series of maneuvers, testing the jet's fuel system at all angles. So what we do is we roll the airplane upside down and we need to make sure that things like fuel, oil, everything else feeds properly to the airplane during this negative G testing. Clear to maneuver item 960. Cutting through the skies over Missouri, the agile advance trainer lines up for the first crucial test point as a chase plane follows. Okay, uh, Bravo's visual, we're starting to close. tally -ho. On the ground, test engineers in the telemetry room monitor every system on the jet and give the crew the go-ahead to invert at high speed. Data's ready, verify chase in position. Chase in position. So here we go. In three, two, one, now. Rolling the jet over the head-up display gives a pilot's eye view, icons spinning, as a cockpit camera captures the world turned upside down for the air crew. One, two, three. We rolled to an inverted flight position and pushed to negative 1G, so it's a little uncomfortable. You're kind of hanging in the straps in the seat. 10, 11. You know, our task was to go fast and upside down. It went perfectly as scripted. It was flawless. Rolling up here. Historically speaking, airplanes need to demonstrate the capability to operate for some period of time in maximum afterburner at maximum fuel flows at negative G. This airplane met those requirements with flying colors. Throughout the series of a dozen separate inverted test points, some as long as 12 seconds, multiple air crews proved the Saab designed fuel system is efficient and reliable in the advanced trainer as it prepares for a life of future training missions and beyond. It's a great trainer lead in. Uh, to the, uh, the current fighter fleet, but at the same time, it could serve multiple roles as a light attack or otherwise fighter. We're at 671250 at 11. And uh, Macbeth 67, Roger. For Boeing Chief T 7 pilot Steve Schmidt and fellow Boeing test and evaluation pilot Bill Berryman, a critical engine restart test in midair will prove the new advanced trainer's ability to restart the engine if a flight crew ever has to shut it down during an emergency. Given it's a single engine airplane, it's kind of a critical piece of showing that it's a safe uh, trainer. Inside the T 7 St. Louis ground based training system simulator, preparation for purposely shutting down the jet's only engine at 20,000 feet began months ago, putting the jet and its crew through emergency paces. Caution, caution. Schmidt, gripping the flight stick and guiding his simulated trainer with no power in for a safe dead stick landing, he hopes he never has to make. The simulator itself responds like the airplane, so when we go out there to do it for real, we're going to be very well prepared. With a safety chase plane in the T-7's shadow, Schmidt and Berryman quickly climb from St. Louis Lambert International Airport en route to the test area, a short 12-minute flight. Inside Boeing's flight test radio and telemetry rooms, the flight is closely monitored, test engineers focused on the moment. In seconds, the T-7's only engine will be purposely switched off, leaving Schmidt and Berryman in a cockpit of a dormant aircraft. One final go round. Fuel? Fuel, let's go. Electrical? Go. Copy. ECS? ECS is go. Comma. Berryman declares their position. Red 6722, about to start a descent to 10, 000, And the engine is shut off. Flight test power is off. Caution. Caution. Boost low. Boost low. Your blood pressure kind of goes up when you shut the engine off. Uh, you're only engine airborne, but uh, you're just following your procedures. You're looking at what you expect to see. Then, after 48 seconds without power, Berryman pushes the engine restart, and the T-7 is brought back to life. 72,000, looking good. All right, flight test power is back on data. Copy. Well, it worked fantastic, so it worked as expected. What really gives me the confidence to go up there and be willing to go ahead and shut the engine off. I've got that great team backing me up. We have confidence in the system, and that goes into the airplane now. I mean, we're just proving it to everybody else that this airplane is very robust and it's safe, and it's going to be a great pilot trainer for the U.S. Air Force. Back, right, 6-7, to maintain 4,000 receiver to initial. Put the tower now, Red, 6-7.